What you're looking at is a branch from a Monterey pine, and the work here looks like the work of a beaver, but actually, it's not very big. Not that beavers can't do small work like this, but two inches, approximately. That's the size of this branch, and the incisor marks are incredibly small, and all this points, we're also inland, we're away from water sources. So all the clues here point to this being the sign of a western gray squirrel. Now what the squirrel did here is took this branch and gnawed it off the tree. Notice that there's two side branches here that have also been gnawed off. And this strip of bark came off when it fell. That wasn't done by the squirrel. But within those gnawed branches, you can see incisor marks. And the squirrel gnawed probably an inch of depth off of this branch, and it didn't fall. So he moved on up to here and gnawed off some of the branch up here until it fell. So what happened is they gnaw through part of the diameter of the branch and when they get to a certain point, the weight of the branch itself causes it to fall. So this part right here is where it actually broke off. This here is all the stuff that was gnawed off by the squirrel. Now why do they do this? So this is the branch of a Monterey pine. Not native in this area, by the way, but it was planted here following logging. But if we look down here, you see some cones. And of course the cones are a good food source for the squirrels. They love to eat these things. But the other thing they like are these pollen cones. And right now it is late winter. It's the last remaining days of February. And this is their food source right now, pollen cones. So they eat these things. They don't eat the tips, they just eat this part. And that gives them nutrition. Um, there are few other food sources around right now. It's, well, it's a little bit early for spring growth to start yet. So the squirrels don't have a variety of foods like they will later. So they're forced to eat foods like this. So the reason the squirrel gnawed this whole branch off, and this thing probably weighs 25 pounds. I carried it over here to film it in the daylight. This was actually dropped in the forest. But the daylight was better over here and I wanted to film it and show the sign. And uh, so a 25 pound branch gnawed off a pine tree by a western gray squirrel. They have uh, ever-growing incisors, they're rodents, and their incisors help them to find food in their environment like this, which I thought was pretty amazing that a squirrel would gnaw off something this large and spend this much effort to get food. But there's probably a good five or six pounds worth of not only pine seeds, but the pollen cones on here. If you took them all off, and weighed them. There's maybe five or six pounds of food there and that could last a little squirrel a long time. So it's no wonder he put in this much effort to bring a branch down to the ground and uh, then go on later to feed on it. So when I leave here, I will be putting it back exactly where it fell because I know the squirrel will come back to find this. But it was a pretty interesting find and I thought you'd like to see the sign left behind by a western gray squirrel. This is a, I'd consider it a feeding sign because he's harvesting food by bringing down these branches down to the, the ground where he can easily get to those cones. Pretty cool, huh?